The intrigue of the North Sea found me travelling across the rugged coastlines of Iceland. I turned up at an incredible beachy with washed up chunks of ice. But the actual magic came from a lagoon behind me over a hill of volcanic rock. I've travelled all over the world and no matter where I go I just like coming back to Devon. When I surf here it's just for fun and there's no competitions and no sponsors and it's just me and my sister or me and my best friends going out to surf my favourite waves because we love surfing. I do what I do because it's, it's more of a calling than a choice. It's something that's been inside me for a long time and I can't get rid of it. I have to keep doing it. And when you're standing on the edge it, everything tells you it's so wrong. You know it's right, you know it's physically possible and the only thing standing in the way is fear. So you just give a count. Three, two, one, see ya. Let's start with a little cold water surfing and then uh, we're gonna head out to the drop zone and get you jumping out of a plane. And if that works well too, we might be able to nail a base on the end of the day. I don't think anybody's had a day like that in their life ever before. We can surf in, in the Arctic Circle, skydiving in the Arctic Circle, base jumping in the Arctic Circle, and then partying in the Arctic Circle. <laughs> I think this is going to be a new definition of the cushy life. Most people end up getting south in the winter, you know, but it's when the, it's when the swells are best at this time in the northern hemisphere. You only have to buy a good wetsuit and you're fine. It's just the getting changed part, which is usually cold, but we're actually boiling right now, which is really quite strange. I mean, this is just as good as it gets. This is the most, yeah, it's the most amazing place I've ever been to. So what's your plan for the rest of the day? We went surfing this morning. Now we're going to take him on his first skydive. And then uh, hopefully if the weather stays good, we can maybe nail a base jump this afternoon too. So that would be a pretty cool trilogy. Not bad. Just a regular day in Iceland, right? <laughs> no, I'm really excited. I've always wanted to do it, you know. I think it's on most people's tick list. It's going to be beep, awesome. <laughs> so that's the plane we're going to go in, man. It's tiny. The common thing between the most extreme athletes, and especially big wave surfers, I mean, they're used to quick thinking and stressful situations. So. I know right now it's all you know it's getting amped up and once we get up there it's just gonna be like oh I got this but he's gonna have the biggest smile from ear to ear. Go do a beach job now, huh? So, let's do it. <laughs> the actual beach break where I live isn't that great, but there's just so many other little secret spots all around the coast. There's like a massive variety of waves in a really small place, and nowhere's busy because not many people surf around here, so there's always a quiet, fun little wave to be had. Alright mate, so we're gonna go follow that waterfall all the way to the top. And then we're gonna take a ride and it's gonna take us to the cliff. And then we're gonna do a base jump. The guy was standing at the top of the cliff. You couldn't picture a you couldn't even draw a better scenario. And you see this water just dripping down the wall at the same time and you actually see rainbows in the water as you're falling. And but also floating in this just amazing Arctic paradise. It's 
Did you see the volcano over there? This, that's the one that erupted last year, and you know, I think it would be really cool to fly a wingsuit over this thing, so... Uh, I'm going to do it! <laughs> Alright, let's go fly over a volcano! <laughs> It's probably gonna take me a lifetime to actually uh, explore everything. I mean, there's just so much to do. So I'm already thinking about my next trip.